Anybody in here? Just stole somebody's meat here, right? That was their prized possession. Here somewhere. Now we're getting some loot. What is that? Finally, some loot. What's the red mean? Maybe that just means it's a Phoenix accessory. Because it's still... Well, it's blue, so I guess it's, like, rare. But the red text probably means it's Phoenix. Increases heat wave damage. Good to see a wrap episode. Uh, I don't even have heat wave. Summon a projectile dispelling wall of liquid flame before launching several deadly shock waves. Wave force is amplified upon dispelling magic. The withdrawal has been signaled. Some opponents will cast cure spells. Wow. Thanks for that. That's the kind of thing where it's like... Shouldn't that be part of the puzzle of learning the fight? Like, why tell me that? At that point, at that point we're just taking away gameplay. Like, let me go in here and start fighting these guys and then see the cure go off and be like, oh man, I gotta take out the healer first. Like, what? Stay down. am I allowed to experience the game at all, or...? Uh, how do I use this? Forget how to... Recommended abilities. Give me a break. Oh, yeah, I see. Okay. Man, I like these ones, though. Shame I gotta un unequip one. Now he's dead. Yeah, why would do why would we use our brains in an RPG? That just seems ridiculous. Two gill, let's go. I'm all about that two gill. I'm running out of tower. Oh, yeah, that's pretty dope. This is to get that item from before. Hey, thanks, TJ. Appreciate it, man. Really appreciate you stopping by. Always warms my heart to see people that 
are dodging the game at the moment because they haven't bought it yet, but still like take the time to stop by. It really does mean a lot. Certainly didn't have to do that, so really appreciate it. Where am I going? Any final words? Yeah, I got a couple. Ooh, big party. Oh, I tried... <laughs> that guy tried to attack me and I jumped off of him. Oh, whoa, whoa. Shoot one of your ball things again. Here we go. I don't think that worked. The timing of that's really awkward. It's almost better just to dodge. And you also need to be like locked on. For it the because I was I was fighting one enemy, and I was paying attention to him, and then as soon as he did the ball, I used it. But because I was fighting that other enemy, I think the wall whiffed. Like, it was facing him and not the ball. This seems like a pretty niche case where you're fighting a mage, but you're not close enough, and he shoots a ball at you. This would be too hard to, like, swap targets in the middle of the hacking something. Could be useful against a boss that has projectiles, though. Charge my attacks. Keep your distance, boy. Oh, I parried him with the burning strike. Oh, that was gross. That was absolutely disgusting. Get absolutely dumpstered. Good doggo. I see a ladder. I don't know. I, I feel like... Did they make dumpster up for her? If they didn't, they did now. I don't like this ability, but I have this accessory for it, so I should probably keep it, but I don't really like it. It is kind of nice having a projectile, but I can just dash towards anyone. I don't have an issue gap closing, so. Still alive. He's got some health. Oh, 
You barking at the birds? Finally. Can I see what he's barking at? He's barking at the birds. I confess I expected more from the old man. And less from you. This is the second time you've bested my sisters. Men of your talents are rare indeed. Why cost your lot with such undesirables? If it is the hearth you long for, you will find more than enough warmth under my wings. You know exactly what I want. Hand over the Dominant, and I'll leave you in peace. You would dare to make demands of me. Know your place, little lamb. Fool is the shepherd who heeds every bleat of the flock. And I will suffer yours no longer. <laughs> Must I spell it out for you, Branded? No one is listening. No one at all! Ah! Come, little lamb. To the slaughter with you. I really love this dynamic because most villains that, like, talk like that, you think, like, have you seen what I've done? Obviously you're no match. But here, she has a right to be that way because she's stronger than me, like, 100%. She's a dominant, I'm not. She should have that much confidence that she can beat me, you know? So that's kind of cool. Also, did you notice that in so many of the cinematic things, they show the moon in the background? Like, when they showed her, they meant, they made very specific uh, they were very specific to show the moon and the red star right behind her shoulder. I feel like that's going to really come into play later because they're making sure that we know that that's a thing. Yeah, see, this is... This is what I thought. I figured they were giving me this ability for a reason. They definitely want me to use that ability in this fight. Oh, I do so much damage, those combos. fight or is she just gonna wreck me now <laughs> Not messing around. Oh, 
Aha, there it is. I did it. Heat wave counter. That's pretty much there specifically for this fight. I'm glad I didn't unequip it. Oh my god, look at how much health she has. And then my big boy combo. And she was like, don't care. Woo! She just picked up a building. Stagger. Hit her with this, hit her with the charge, hit her with this, hit her with another charge. Almost 7,000 damage. gonna hit her but it wasn't up in time do it again that's not oh that moves I didn't know it moved oh god it's time <laughs> that was interesting Oh god, oh god, oh god, what is this? Run away. Oh, last time that was a cutscene. I thought it was gonna be a cutscene. Oh, I canceled it. Cancel! Booyah. Ow, ow. Ooh, canceled it with a stagger. effect he made. Bad luck. Oh, we're back again. Back in action. The doggo combo. Oh my god, tell me that wasn't the coolest combo you've ever seen. Oh 
That'll help. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. I genuinely missed the Torgal heal, so I'm glad he's back. What in God's name was that sound effect? Cancel. Get wrecked. Uh oh, Torgal, help! <laughs> oh God, that did not feel good. Don't let them get away. Oh, I did it too early. I saw it coming, so I tried to preempt it, but I went too early. Boom. Man, that fight was awesome. Oh, I got another. Increases rising flames will increase increases rising flames will damage. So that's isn't rising flames the one that did mostly damage and not as much will damage. So that's dope. <laughs> you are but a branded. I I how. How did you do it? How did you even survive? How? The answer is simple, Benedicta. He was fighting for something he believed in. Shut up! Why aren't you dead? We've played your games. Now tell me where he is. Who? What are you? Oh, I'm excited because we're getting wind powers. My favorite. Like, I'll kill it. I don't know what it is, but I'll kill it. There you are. Ooh, creepy. Enough of this. I was gonna say, what? did we steal her powers or just borrow them? She, she's gone. What, what's ha happening? Give her back. Give her back! Give her back! My lady! Where is she? Where is Garuda? What have you done to me? What have you done? Look at me, my lady. We need you here. How'd you do that? Fuck me. 
hope the bear has found a way out. Clive, this place is ready to collapse, and I'd rather not be here when it does. If your dominant started this fire, and I'm betting he did, he'll be long gone. Damn it all. So anyways, this guy's on fire. <laughs> Trophy. What was that? I created a diversion as commanded, Your Grace. The villagers escaped in the confusion. As should we. Yes. I really like the, the female character designs in this game. Maybe I'm just biased. There's a lot of dark haired women in this game. Morning has broken. But no, I think they're really good. They're really memorable. They really different from each other. Itching to butcher the bastards who made him miss their morning gruel? Come on. If they catch us leaving a burning care, people might jump to conclusions. Right. Man. I really... I really loved that... Um... That reaction from Benedicta, like... There's a lot of ways they could have done it, but that's how I feel someone would react if you stole the power that made them who they were for their entire life, you know what I mean? Like, in this world, being a dominant is, like, your whole personality, your whole right for living. So instead of just being like, you took my power, you know, goofy villain dialogue, she like broke down because that was literally like her being her every the reason that everyone respects her, the reason that she has the power she has, the reason that she can be as close as she is to the king. Like, who knows how the king is going to be now that she's not a dominant like. That is her whole being, and we just took it away from her. So, like, that's the reaction I expect. Not some goofy, you know, I'll get you for this, you meddling kids. Like, you know. <laughs> so, man, they just, they really have done such a great job with her. I hope she continues to be part of the story and she didn't just fall into obscurity now because she is such a cool character and they've done such a perfect job having her act like an actual human being would act. Yeah, like she, her whole character is totally sold for me. Also, wind is my favorite element. So the fact that we got wind, I'm pretty stoked. Attuning with Garuda not only changes the elemental aspect of Clive's magic spells, but also allows access to several new iconic abilities, such as Gouge, a deadly flurry of talons that can tear into an opponent for multiple hits. Garuda's iconic feet, this is what I was talking about. I'm hoping the feats are all, like, really different. Oh, it's a grab. That's so cool. Toward lighter enemies toward Clive. The action can also topple larger enemies that become partially staggered when their will gauge reaches... Ooh. Now there's, like, another... Another thing that comes with the partial stagger. Oh, yes. Oh yes, now we're getting into it. You remember, remember when I said the game doesn't seem like Devil May Cry yet? <laughs> it just turned into Devil May Cry, hundred percent. Because this is what I was talking about. Like you had your separate abilities and you had your separate attacks, but they didn't really weave much. That was before I realized how good the charge swing is, but still. You know, the thing with DMC is like juggling separate weapons and separate abilities. 
this is where it comes at now the fact you know the fact that we can quick swap this is where it's going to get real interesting this is where it's going to change you don't still have it i think i do i can feel it it's inside me along with the flames well are you not keen to try it out what could possibly go wrong? Stop this! <laughs> and just, just like that. Oh my god, that's like instant. Okay, so the magic attack is like exactly the same. There's no like real difference. It's probably just the element. I was wondering if maybe this charge triangle would like blow him away or something, but it's just exactly the same as the fire. Whoa. Oh my god. That was cool. It's still a bit difficult to describe to you how the game is in terms of its openness. You kind of just have to watch and see for yourself because it's a, it's it's pretty unique, honestly. Hard to really classify it. Okay, so I'm gonna equip Rising Flames. And equip my Rising Flames accessory. It doesn't show it change here, but I'm fine with that. That's actually better, so I can kind of compare the abilities together. It could have put like a, a blue star or something to show like how much the accessory is adding, but... It's whatever. Uh, Gouge does like 7 million stagger damage, holy cow. Okay, so this attack is like big air attack. So there's the Garuda abilities. And it all takes the same ability points, so I can... Start sinking into it if I want. I can level up the grab. Aha! Here we go. That's where it tells you what the upgrades do. So let's see here. Oh, you hit triangle and it brings up the details and then one of these says mastery there, increases shift distance. Yeah, I didn't spend much time in the upgrade menu yet. That's why I didn't find it yet. As you can tell, I have like 1200 ability points. I haven't really spent too much time in here because I was spending a lot of time talking about other things that I wanted to just get into combat. This increases claw range. Also gives you all the battle techniques you can do with it, which is going to be really nice for arcade mode. Even says down there, bonus points are awarded for using battle techniques during arcade mode. Wait. Oh, this has an upgrade and a master. Mastery allows assignment to any icon. 
What? What does that mean? Like I could have... I could have three fire abilities by equipping a fire ability to Garuda. All right, I got I got to see this. It's all right if you answer cuz I'm about to test it anyways. It's all good. Normally I would say don't answer that, but we're going to test it anyways. I'm very curious. So if I upgrade... Uh, heat wave. Oh wait. Can I even master any of these? Do I have enough points? Try Cyclone. Oh, it's so expensive to master, holy cow. Alright, never mind. We can't... <laughs> We can't tell you, but I guess, yeah, I, I mean, that's got to be what it means, right? So, I guess I could reset everything. It's really nice you can do that for free. I had to reset everything just to master one thing. Dude, that's, that is wild. So, these are really just kind of like slots, almost like materia slots, where it's like every icon I get is going to get me more slots, but if I master stuff, I could have a whole build of just one icon if I really wanted. Give me something else to fight just for a second. Oh, never mind, I can just do this. Yeah, it even shows a red dot down there. Holy cow, this is going to get wild. This is going to get really customizable. Additional content is now available for redemption. Why did you tell me that now? Because I loaded a game? <laughs> the heck? No, it's not! You're lying. That was just a glitch. Do I have to go activate this, or is it already activated? I was just a glitch because I loaded this save for the first time after getting the pre-order bonuses. The baby bonuses. I've come from the cave. This might take a while. Don't let them get away. Oh, that was so cool. I was like, can I have Doggo kick him up in the air and then use this air ability? You better believe I can. Okay, how do I switch? Okay. Oh. Boom. Was that a gold pickup? Or is it just really shiny? It was just really shiny. 9,999. I feel like... I feel like it's a bit distracting seeing all those nines. I feel like they could have just left it. And maybe if you scroll over it, it shows you the max, you know? So just... Having the max on all of them at all times makes it kind of hard to read. Well, anyways, I do want to upgrade something because I have a lot of ability points. Unless I want to save up for a ultimate. Ooh. 
This is like the ultimate stagger move. Maybe I should try to learn that. Oh, I gotta get this. Oh, I gotta get that. Hold on. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. I gotta get this move. This is... This is my move. Counter-Strike changes... Oh wow, there's even more like details in here that it doesn't say there. So if I hit a counter strike, the ability cooldown time is reduced by a third. Ability can be canceled by pressing R1 while jumping back. Cooldown is reset if ability is canceled. So if you dodge with it but cancel the attack, it gives you it back. So you could like infinitely dodge with this if you were really good. Yeah, this is going to be a staple of my build. I can already tell you that now. 100%. Uh, I think I'll swap these. Okay. <laughs> I have to test this just to test it. But if I have two of the same, it lets me equip two of the same ability. So does that mean? Okay, they they have the same cooldown. Just making sure. If I could have like two separate cooldowns for the same ability, that'd be kind of wild. Right, let's test this out. The bridge is closed. Turn back, or it's the dungeons for you. I like it already. Although it doesn't... I actually didn't get the counter there. I still dodged the move, but I didn't get the counter. Whoa! That was a little wild. Okay, bigger enemies, this just turns into like a, a jump attack. Which is kind of weird. Oh, I can dodge stuff with that too. I can go like that. <laughs> oh my god, I'm loving this already. Oh, there we go. Nailed it. And then staggered him. And then hit him with 500 abilities. Oh my god, I almost did 10,000 stagger damage. Holy moly. Yeah, I was waiting for this, like... The game's gonna... Oh my god! <laughs> oh, that was sick. I, can't, I parried with the spin ability. Um, I was waiting for the game to open up, and I felt like it was, we were close to it. Oh, it shows it in the top left, too. That's nice. Alright, your boy's having fun. It's official. It's official. I'm having fun. Bruh. 
Breaking news. The game is fun. Oh, it's only me. Dummy gum, are you trying to get yourself killed? It's not me who's been playing with fire. Fire? You don't do things by half, do you? No, I'm definitely not. This way. I complain a lot, but I'm easily pleased. <laughs> Very true. So if it wasn't you or him who freed the bearers, who was it? Good question. Someone who didn't have their hands full fighting a bloody harp for you, I guess. But what matters is they're safe. Something they wouldn't be had it not been for you, Gav. Ah, just doing me job, like. So, uh, what about his dominant? Gone. And after we were so close. Well, uh, I can track him. Why would you? Sid told us about your family. Lost me into Imperial Steel. Sometimes vengeance is the only thing that keeps you going. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Go safely, brothers. That look. I reckon he likes you. Yeah, I might have might have lied to her. <laughs> She's gone. She's gone. My lady, you have to hold on. We're going to get gone, you. Gone, gone, gone. <laughs> What am I going to do? Barnabas! How long to the coastal road? At this pace, we won't make it by sunset. He'll know. He'll cast me out like all the others. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? My lady. No, oh, the guy with the weird facial hair. We won't get another look at it. Man, crazy how different she is now that she doesn't have the. What do we have Ruta. here? <laughs> Fetch a good price, I reckon. Well, we'd be doing the slavers a disservice if we didn't praise her work. Stay away! It's all right. They can't hurt you anymore. Come on. Let's go home. Is this it, Adolphus? My punishment for not listening to you? Feel it too. Garuda. Oh. 
by the flames. will swallow this whole forest, and us along with it. And I'll stop her. You'll stop her. I heard it again. Someone is calling me. Damn it, lad. That doesn't mean you have to listen. It's got a point. I should have gone with Gav. Yeah, I just... I don't think you understand. That's not just windy weather you're wandering into. Benedictus' rage knows no bounds. And that's on a good day. I don't want to know what's weighing inside that. But I do. I have to find out. And I'm not turning back. You hear the uh, prelude in the, in the background there? Dude, I just absolutely love this character so much. Like, the more they show her, and I, I'm thinking to myself, like, okay, this is the end of her, or at least, like, you know, for a while, maybe she comes back later or something, and then it swaps into that flashback, and I was like, oh my god, they're still building upon this character, like, she's not just gonna be thrown away now. I've played a lot of games recently that throw away characters and here they're really just building upon the same ones it's it's got me man i am i am it here for it and like i love how she immediately turned to like I'm gonna be rejected by the king, because that's what I was thinking too. And like, she's agreeing with Sid to like, everything that Sid said was right. And she's realizing that like, now that Garuda has gone, I'm gonna be rejected, you know? So she was like realizing Sid was right, but she figured she had already cast that lot. You know, she had already pushed it away for the final time, so, like, now she's screwed. Also, there's this cool thing with, like, all of the... dominance... uh... hearing... or, like, sensing when other dominants are near, or when other dominants are, like, using their power. And Clive has it, too, which is interesting. Um, but there's some kind of weird connection between them all that we don't know yet. It's really fascinating. Man, you can chain those, like, look at this. So many abilities that I feel like I never need to just do my regular attacks because I like always have an ability up.
Yeah, that's how I... I mean, that's a very DMC problem to have. I have too many buttons. Man, that just tears apart. Man, that still does a lot of damage, even if you don't counter anything with it. Not as much damage as that, though. Um, I forget what I was saying. Something, something, DMC. Should I explore this area more? It looks like I can't really go anywhere else anyways. Dominant or the guy talking to you? What's this? just the gate. That's cool, but let's go back to the hideout first. <laughs> I'm glad that they let you do this, even though it kind of story-wise seems weird. Yes? What? Some, sometimes it's down. like, we don't need we don't need a uh Story reason, just let us go back and shop. <laughs> 